Hello everybody, this is Conquering Green History Games, and welcome back to part 16 of my... Oh, that's our cool, we got a naval invasion going on over here. Part 16 of my Pelly's America playthrough here in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. Things are going well uh, so far. You know, we're, we're just getting ready mostly for the big war against, uh, you know, against uh, freaking... Oh my gosh, we've got infrastructure problems against Germany. But uh, everybody's basically here already. And what I think I might need to do is... Let's see, we got you guys. Where are you at? You're over here. We need to get another 24. Oh yeah, we, work, we were working on that. And I'm wondering if I just want to hire a new commander just because I don't want to deal... Yeah, I just don't want to deal with the blank portrait. It's just slightly annoying to me. So Henry Grant is in charge over here. Uh, so, I know that wasn't very efficient, that usage of my political power, but we're also still kind of short on a few infantry divisions here and there. So, African Civil War seems like it's already ended, and uh-oh, what's going on here? Don't you be crashing on me now. Okay, Sardinia joined the Entente. I didn't know they were out of it. Oh no, what is happening? <sighs> You're getting a little, you know, a little getting a little slow in some of these areas here. So we're just queuing up a bunch of these to have as spares. All right. Next up, we need what excavation? I guess. Sure, why not? Nationalists are winning in South Africa. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking is we gotta take Mosley and his ilk here. Hmm. We got a lot of divisions that are up here for some inexplicable reason, so let's just delete any potential orders they've got. And Mr. George Mosley here, we're going to actually make a enormous fallback line with him. Through Verdun, like so, up to Calais. Uh, you know, maybe we're going to extend this just a pinch down here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for now, and then we'll turn it into a, uh, you know, we'll turn it into a front line when the war begins, which is going to be in March, I think. Okay, cool. We're still getting some lend support, which is nice from my allies. Uh, yeah, we got a couple of months to go. we got our Marines here in actual Costa Rica, so we're going to be able to take that uh, pretty quickly, I think. I don't think that Costa Rica will join the Reichsflacht. I think they're just guaranteed, so, you know, hopefully we'll be able to capitulate them quickly and we could just immediately do the military occupation so that we have the whole golden circle here taken care of. Um, we have some units that are already ready to deploy. Is it my tanks? No. Well, it's a couple of those tank divisions, but what do we got here? The patent pushers, they're definitely not ready. We got these 24 ready to go, though. So let's put them out here. Send them. Okay. Oop. Okay, good. So, what we gotta take is. Whoa, 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 that's not what I meant to happen. Okay, we got the 24 of you here. Put you here in the European theater as well. Um, is there anywhere in particular we don't have them assigned? Maybe, maybe we should come over here to Bulgaria, like so, and uh, see what we could do with them. Uh, don't have enough political power to get another commander for them, so that's just gonna have to wait for a little bit. Uh, but it looks like we also have a whole lot of other divisions that aren't assigned. Uh, looks like it's mostly Marines over here. So let's let's assign them here with Chesty Polar, which is too much, I know. Okay, bring these out, put them here. Okay, all these Marines should surely be enough to uh, to deal with this. Now. Over here, we've got... Let's, ch let's check our Pacific Front. We got a lot of divisions moving in. Um, I think what we could do is, because the invasions have all been successful, we can just go ahead and start um, moving some of these guys. And we have Army 6 over here. What I think we want to do is do some garrison orders with them in these areas. Yeah, and now we'll keep we'll keep taking these marines. 
because we're gonna we're gonna continue to slowly poke at the Japanese but we are definitely focusing our efforts against Germany right now <clears throat> have some of you come here you all let's see if we can pull off um, a naval invasion up here that I could then build a naval base with uh, we have some more of you right where are they over here um, gonna draw an order from there to north of Ashahigawa and the concept is gonna be that we're gonna try to build a naval base quickly on these areas after we take them oh there's some mechanized units there that's interesting let's see if we can get a little bit north here pushing through okay very good supply seems fine thus far okay so now um like, does war bonds hurt, you know? Um, bit of radar, ruling the skies. We're doing battlefield support, right? If I come over here to my air doctrine. Yes, indeed, it is battlefield support. So let's come over here. Awesome. 30 nukes queued up, ready to bring the pain. It's, it's way too ahead of time on that. I guess we'll get the better close close air support though. Um, all right, so we got you guys doing garrison orders over here. How about down here? We got a lot of you not doing much. Let's see if we can get you. Hopefully, the AI will pathfind its way decently over there. Uh, no promises, no hope. All right, who else is ready to deploy? We do have these light tank templates. I suppose what I could do is just have these automatically get assigned to the first armored and the patent pushers we'll put over here whoops there oh they're not assigned anywhere where are they okay so they're just they're hanging out here in the north i thought i had assigned them that's weird uh okay so now patent pushers we want you to go that way uh, nobody else is ready to go. The ones that are ready are going to get deployed momentarily. Let's give that about a day. Oh, it's going to be a big war. It's going to be a big, 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 big war. Looking forward to it. What is this that we have missing in our equipment production? We don't have fighters. Do you want to run that by me? Oh, right. It's because we got the, the, the jet fighters uh, being queued up. But maybe we could do something like this. Uh, yeah, I think that'll that'll be fine. I guess we could try to just replace the ones that we've got wherever we can. We'll be okay in the long run. So, I think I already assigned, yes, it does look like I already assigned all the mini, mini, mini planes that I had in this region. Uh, there's not a whole lot left for us to assign. Though the jet fighters are starting to get cranked out. We're going to try to quickly go for the, you know, the... The air bases where we can. No promises on that though. Let's get them over here over southern Germany. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to knock out their air bases. But do not trust to hope. It has forsaken these lands. Alright, it's Clifton Cates. Clifton Cates is part of Wait, which army is he part of? Okay, he's right. He's down here. Yeah, he's part of the European theater. So, we want him here. Oh, and now I'm remembering, yeah, because it gave the way too long front line. Okay, so what we want to do is just here through Austria. Have it be just kind of short. And... Who else? We've got Matthew Ridgeway. He's going to be a little bit stretched here in Czechoslovakia. He's going to give it a he's going to give it the old college try though. Uh yeah, did they did it just delete the orders in between episodes or something and I forgot. This is acting very strangely. Uh, but we're going to have some of you come over here and try to take Poland kind of quick. I know that I've got some small gaps in the line there, but I'm depending on my allies to take care of that for me. Here we go. Czechoslovakia is over here. Who's left? 
yeah, we want to take Romania kind of quickly because that's going to be a major source of oil for them. Well, they got oil all over the place. In fact, it looks like they're building a lot of refineries up here. All right, excavation is taken care of. Mm, I, I don't think the radio ra radar is not worth it right now. But what we could do is... Gosh, the tech tree is so small. I've been playing a lot of Equestria at War, so it's just, geez, tiny-ass tech tree. All right. <clears throat> it's fine, though. Uh, okay. How far in are we? About 10 months, I think. I think it's time. Uh, we just need these guys to hurry up, go a little bit quicker, and get in position. I'm soon going to be able to put a commander on them. But, you know, I think... I think the key is, more than anything, to press them out of the Balkans here, uh, just so we can have a continue, you know, shorten our front that we have to deal with. Say, that's why we're going after Morocco. I'm going to have my tanks come down here and deal with Africa. But I really, really want to get rid of the Balkans, take the Balkans out of the equation relatively early if it's, if it's possible. You're about to lose Burma. So that's nice. Okay, let's see how north can we go. How north can we go? Central Asian Federation has capitulated. They're really starting to do some open field running here in the middle of Asia. Hmm. Not much left to research. It's that time. It's that time of the game. Rand's just still perfectly content here with controlling the Middle East. I don't think we'll have to uh, <clears throat> intervene in that region because uh, we got all the resources, so we're fine. Hmm. Oh, why don't I have this? Okay, and we can finally, yeah, our justification is complete. Uh, is this the Hodes ghost assigned trait again? Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, where is my artillery guy, by the way? We got Harrison here. His people, they're assigned down here in Romania, and they're not as well trained as I would like. I probably, you know, I probably should have spent a bit of time here uh, actually training these divisions. But his, his artillery that I want to put over there are not ready to go yet either. Uh, we're a little bit short on support equipment, which is concerning, but I think it'll fix itself pretty quick. Nothing nothing too much that we have to worry about there. The uh, only thing I still wanted to do is we are going to put a brand new commander who has a face, hopefully. No, yes, he does. Walter Hamlin, you're in charge now. And I think that's it. I think we're as ready as we'll ever be. Maybe Germany won't call it in. <laughs> yeah, potential enemies, German Empire. There we go. There they did. They just called in Germany, and now everybody in the world is going to get a piece of this. So now we call all our allies in. Yeah, but Costa Rica itself will fall very quickly, I think. Yep, Russia... Everybody's coming in. Uh, is Belgium involved yet? No, we're waiting for that so we can build our new front line. A uh, little bit of scrambling going on at these fronts. And get ready for the lag. Oh, the lag, the lag, the lag, the lag. Okay, actually, it's not so bad. I thought this was going to be much worse. Okay. Okay. Um, Belgium got called in against us. No, United Kingdom just declared on Ireland. All right. I think that was unrelated, though. I think that was his uh, Irish, uh, the the what was it, Irish policy stuff. Costa del Pueblo has capitulated. All right. See, wasn't that nice and easy? So now we want to. Bring our Marines, the ones we had over here with Chesty Pooler. We're going to put them right here. And they should be able to make pretty short work of this section of the Netherlands. 
Uh, that should be, I think that's the last stronghold that isn't Entente in the Western Hemisphere. There we go. I'm so, I knew we'd be able to get it. So the Golden Circle is complete. Might as well just pay it right now. I just want to get it out of the way. Oh yeah, and what do we, what else do we want to do out here? We could go for bomber development, and this eventually leads to that final air doctrine, so yeah, I guess so. Let's go and get that. Uh, but I'm waiting for the pop-up here, or have they determined that it is proper Commonwealth clay, and I don't need to take it. Hmm. Okay, what is this? Uh, Argentina wants to help us in the war efforts. Yeah, this is just everybody coming in. Of course, of course, of course! I wonder how difficult a nut uh, Ireland is going to be to crack. <clears throat> they don't have a whole lot of recruitable population. Like if they put a, if they did a sustained bombing campaign, they, I think they'd be able to do just fine. Alright. Got some more jet fighters ready to go. Just keep dumping them over here into southern Germany. They're probably really, really overcommitting in that region, uh, but it's going to be okay. Now, is Belgium involved yet? No, we are still not at war with the dang Belgium. Uh, we're not even at war with, yeah, we need, we need you to, they will not accept, why not? France is allied toward the German Empire? The fuck did you just say? That makes no sense. What? How are they allied? Well, they have a non-aggression pact. That's different. Well, that is uh, extremely, extremely annoying. So, they're only at war with me. Um, and I can't attack through my areas. Because they belong... Through these areas because they belong to my allies. Well, isn't that a bitch? How long is the... I'm trying to remember if there's a way that you can get rid of... Or like how you can check how long an aggression pact is uh, going to be there for. But wow, that's annoying. Uh, okay, well, let's just come over here to the Pacific Front for a little while then. And uh, we, we are lacking naval supremacy in somewhere uh, here in the Sea of Japan. Okay, off the, off the coast. This is probably going to be a little harder than the rest to, uh, to hold on to or to grab. Okay, can we get some of you to cross the stream? Nope, 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 nope. Definitely not. Alright, well, looks like Japan's just going to try to push me out of these islands, and it's just going to cause them to take casualties. Not many, though. Uh, so I suppose now we just sit around and wait for the stupid non-aggression pacts to go away. Ah! How annoying! Except, what's going on over here? It looks like they're attacking me. Can I counterattack in, into their areas? Oh yeah, because isn't aren't these my puppets? No, did I release them? I thought they were my puppets. Damnation. Okay, let's try something else. Oh, by the way, check out the new Commonwealth of America font. How it is now that I have Costa Rica. The way it stretches across that way. Uh, but. All right, occupied territories. I don't have subjects technically. Oh, I am able to push into uh, into Morocco though because I did have this one area here. All right, well, I'll take it. So if we come right here, like so, we can then go up to Casablanca like that. Great. That's got to count for something, right? Join wars, requests, they want to help in the war effort. Oh, dang it. I was trying to... Okay, hopefully they'll call everybody else in now. Oh, okay. oh wait, no, in the Spanish-German the Spanish -German War. All right, so the non-aggression packs have been canceled now. Is it working? Dominion of India has called in Germany. There we go. Okay, I thought, I was thinking, geez, how am I going to do this? Am I going to have to console command this? How is this going to work? I don't know. But Dominion of India, we've got the United Dominion coming in at 300 divisions now. 
because of all that stuff I gave them. Yeah. Very, very nice. Okay, so this means we're at war with Belgium now, right? Okay, yeah. So, we can take George Mosley here and put put his whole army like so. Set up an arrow to Berlin and light up the fireworks in a second. Uh, what's what's the problem here? Divisions are not in position, fortified, large river crossing. That's all okay. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of green here. Well, let's get them on the attack. Now, I don't think they get forts here on the border with Czechoslovakia. Oh, they have they have some forts, some small ones. Everybody's jumping in now. Oh yeah, Hawaii joins the fight. It's all over now. Okay, and we've got some divisions ready to go. Is it the artillery ones? Sweet. Okay, so what I'm just going to do with them is we're going to drop them here in the East Coast. And, uh, oh, dang it, Bruce got, Bruce got sick. Uh, but once they drop out, we'll bring them over to Europe, and then we'll give them the new commander once they're in position. But uh, the, Is the Isalco... Volcano has gone back to normal activity levels, giving me more stability. Well, I suppose that's a nice thing. Can't complain about it. Uh, wow, my planes are getting blasted right out of the air over in uh, here in, over uh, southern Germany. So they're definitely committing very hard uh, to 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 uh, defending that that area because they know how bad it's gonna get. Nope, oh, we'll just keep dumping more people in there though. It's probably not the best idea, but you know. okay. So we're running into some red bubbles, but as long as my logistics are fine, I feel pretty okay about it because Russia actually has a. Oh no, I think they just increased their conscription law. So now that they've got a few million in reserve, Germany's the real problem, but they're already on all adult serve. Okay, these 24 though are ready to go. We are going to bring them over to Europe, and once they're here, we'll switch them over to the artillery commander. Or I suppose we could just do that now. Where is he? Yeah, Sterling Harrison. I think we will do great things with him. Terrible things, but great. Lots of mechanized forces on the German side, I'm noticing. All right, is there anybody who has not been called in? Morocco just capitulated. Excellent. Oh, we got a Christmas dog. Did you guys see that? <laughs> for the uh, for the equipment. Okay, cool. So we're done here. Now we are going to take our tanks down to Morocco. Let's see what we can do with them down there. Let's go. Yeah, we've got the second armored army. Oh, that's great. He's hurt. Got sick out here in the Moroccan desert, uh, but it's okay. Well, we're gonna now. What we do? We bring them. We're gonna bring them down here and see what we could do. Was this an impassable area here? Oh, I guess it just stops at the lake. Hmm. Okay, look at the cat. Let's check the casualty count. I've taken about 600,000. They are at 700,000. The Germans, that is. They can ill afford it compared to me. What was that? Here it is again. Oh, you know what? I know what that is. It's probably my OBS is still uh, connected to to uh, the Streamlab stuff. So whenever you're hearing that noise, that means I got a subscriber somewhere on YouTube. Well, that's nice. Okay, here, let's bring this guy over just so they have somebody, some sort of commander in the region. Uh, Romania's crumbling, which, uh, you know, like I said before, is very, very good because they've got the oil. Not a whole lot, but they have some. Although, really, yeah, because Iran holds Azerbaijan, so if we can take this, we're going to cut off the most significant supply of oil that uh, that Germany has access to, Germany and Russia.
Now, do I do I dare go for an attack? I don't think so. Yeah, fortified. We do have friendly air superiority. They're still blasting most of my planes out of the sky. Actually, it looks a little bit better now. Hmm. Okay. Let's just keep trying this. Uh, if we're going to make the breakthrough, I think it's going to be around here in the Czechoslovakia region. <clears throat> this is going reasonably well. Uh, I feel like these guys are not advancing the way they should be. Let's go up here to Danzig. Okay, stop. Now go. Much better. Much, much better. Plenty of green. We're, we're having some troubles down here on the Austrian border because they've built some forts. But, again, the logistics look fine, so I don't see any reason to slow down. And let's keep queuing up some Patton, some of Patton's force, uh, tanks here. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. What's that, what's that put me short on? The modern tanks. Okay, let's come over here. Now, my light tank divisions should be just about in position. Let's just go. And take Nigeria and such. Because this is where the German Empire is going to flee to. They don't really have anywhere else. Well, they might go out here to the far east, this, this region of the world, but I don't think so. Okay, now, checking in quickly on the Pacific Front. Uh, we still do not have the superiority in the Sea of Japan area. I think this is where they're committing a lot of their navy, so I don't think it's going to happen. What we're probably have to, going to have to do is build some air bases in this region and uh, start sending over tons of bombers and things like that, uh, naval bombers in particular, so we can start blasting their navy out of the water. All right, advancing into Leipzig. Very good. They've only got one division here by Dresden. Let's stop it from being... Nope, too late. I was going to try to stop it from being reinforced, but it was already too late. Um, they're weakening. It looks, In fact, a couple of my divisions, it looks like they might be able to punch through here soon. Let's just wait another minute or so, though. Where's... Uh, okay, over here. Where are these guys at? Let's wait until our artillery is, uh, is over here. There we go. Because uh, obviously once we smash through their western wall, it's really over. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, auto saving. Why the lag? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Tanks are doing reasonably okay. Uh, actually... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, the they weren't called in, so we weren't able to attack them at first. Very strange. But all this will be common a Commonwealth colony. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, it looks like they're actually trying to push against our wall. Which is strange, to say the least. I can't imagine that uh, there's too much happening there. Uh, actually, no, they're coming in with at least triple digit, a little bit. But uh, yeah, they, you know they're getting hurt by the fort. We've got air superiority. They're not going to get far. But if they want to waste men and equipment trying to, like, oh, we'll just capitulate France, even though uh, you know Dresden is about to fall. That's a better. That's a higher priority, right? Okay, uh, we have reached the Black Sea over here in Romania, so that's cool. Uh, with the Balkans isolated, now the southern part of the Balkans isolated, we'll be able to take that out, and then uh, we can begin focus on our trek deep, deep, deep into the heart of Russia. You know, I just thought, these are all core territories of uh, Russia's, aren't they? Even after the peace treaty, they should be. Oh, did they lose them as core states because the Federation owned them now? Really? How interesting. 
Oh no, it's a, it's a core state. Okay, so it looks like they only lost the Central Confederation, uh, the Central Asian Federation, but still, like all these areas out here, they're not hugely populated, but they are cores. So that's probably also contributing to um, Russia's manpower pool continuing to rise again. Meanwhile, Germany's losing that pool. Yep, they're down under two million. Uh, Kingdom of Romania just capitulated. Excellent. So we got some divisions I think we need to move around, like you, Henry Grant. Uh, we're actually going to concentrate on advancing south first. Let's just be done with this front, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, it looks like they just stopped. So if I... Okay, let's just try... If we did try to push through the west wall, it doesn't all go red immediately. Uh, it goes red pretty fast, though. Okay, so I just I just wanted to see what that would have looked like. Uh, oh, hey, wait, no, we broke the, we've broken through in the south. There it is. That's it. And if we get over the river too, stick a pin in it, or stick a fork in them, because they will be done. All right, what's out of date? Douglas Banshee. That's a. Uh, that's the close air support, right? Okay. Yeah. Swap out the Banshee for the Olympian. We've got the air superiority over Frankfurt. Oh yeah, it's getting better all the time for me. Okay. But we're over the river. Plenty of green here. The continuous assault is keeping everybody pinned on the west wall. We're actually sort of running out of strategic bombers but i think that's a good place to stop today's episode in the next one we probably are going to capitulate germany uh since we've begun to press in from the west uh it will try to link up here uh, north of the swiss border and uh after that it just it's gonna be over and then we focus on russia and I could, once that's taken care of, I get my delicious colonies. Oh, all that slave labor. Pelly salivates at the thought. I'll see you then. Bye.